Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we will focus on two heavyweight AI models, Meta's Llama 3.1 and OpenAI ChatGPT Minus Foro. To help you fully understand the differences between these two AI models, we have created a scoring table with five comparison indicators, based on actual test results, to provide an objective score. Of course I will also calculate the total score at the end of the video for your reference. So who is the true AI king? Let's explore. First, let's briefly introduce the two contestants. Llama 3.1 is Meta AI latest large-scale language model, known for its powerful language generation capabilities and openness. ChatGPT Minus Foro, on the other hand, is OpenAI flagship product, which has performed well in various benchmark tests and is widely used in various fields. After understanding the basic information, let's start the first test. 1. Text Generation We asked both Llama 3.1 and ChatGPT Minus Foro the same question to see the answers they would generate. The question was, based on everything you know, write a college essay of at least 3,000 words titled Will AI Replace Humans from the results their generation speeds are similar. However, GPT Minus Foro provided two different answers with paragraph titles, fitting the essay format well, whereas Llama 3.1 although it also gave a title, didn't quite meet the standard college essay format. Nonetheless its content was up to par. To further verify, we asked another question, I'm a YouTube gaming video blogger, please write a script on how to get high view counts. Llama 3.1 gave us detailed script descriptions and camera language, along with thoughtful tips. GPT-40 also generated excellent content, offering many valuable details. From this test, we found that both models can produce high-quality text, but chat GPT-40 excels slightly in creative text generation. Therefore, the scores are Llama 3.1 with 4 points and GPT-40 with 5 points. 2. Translation Test First off, we checked how many languages these two models support. When we asked how many countries' languages can you translate, GPT-40 supports translations in 110 languages, while Llama 3.1 supports 100 languages, with an additional 50 in some regions. However, this doesn't make a huge difference. I'll send them a longer piece of text to see how their translations stack up. From the test results, both models produced very natural Korean translations. There were just a few stylistic differences, Llama 3.1 was more diverse and friendly, perfect for a warm tone, while GPT-40 was more concise and could grab the audience's attention better. Each has its strengths, and we ended up giving both a solid 5 out of 5. 3. Arithmetic Test Now onto the math test. Lately there's been some buzz about whether 12.11 or 12.9 is greater. We put it to the test to see how they handle it. When we asked, which is greater 12.11 or 12.9? Llama 3.1 got it wrong initially. GPT-40 also got it wrong at first, but after a few more tries, it finally got it right. When we changed the question to what is 12.11 minus 12.9, both gave the correct answers. So, in terms of accuracy for this test, neither model was consistent, so we rated them both a 3 out of 5. 4. Code Generation If you are a programmer, these models can be extremely useful. Let's start with our first question, I want to develop a game similar to Contra, please write a basic framework to get me started. Here are the results, Llama 3.1 provided simpler code, easier for beginners to understand, with comments explaining certain parts. GPT Minus Foro's code was more complex but better organized, defining separate classes for players, enemies and bullets, enhancing reusability and maintainability. It also used constants to represent colors, speeds and sizes, improving readability. Depending on your needs, you might choose Llama 3.1 for learning purposes or as a starting point, or GPT-40 for a more practical, playable game with additional features and better organization. Both scored 4 points. 5. Real-time search Unfortunately, Llama 3.1 does not support real-time search but its multi-language conversation and long text capabilities are more than sufficient for our daily needs. GPT-40 however can perform real-time updates. For example, when asked what happened in the recent Microsoft Blue Screen incident, GPT-40 provided a detailed explanation. 
We hope Llama 3.1 will achieve real-time search functionality soon, especially since it's free and open source, while GPT-4.0 has usage restrictions. Both scored 4 points. So the final scores are in out of a total of 25 points, Llama 3.1 scored 20 and GPT-4.0 scored 21. Both Llama 3.1 and ChatGPT-4.0 are excellent AI models, each with its own merits. If you are a developer looking to deeply customize a model, Llama 3.1 is a great choice. If you need a powerful, easy-to-use AI tool ChatGPT-4 might be more suitable for you. We look forward to seeing more powerful AI models emerging in the future, bringing us more convenience and surprises. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more AI knowledge and tools. Thank you for watching.